Okay, so that's how we figured out we had to do some of these um, conversions. All right, now number five says Tyrell. Tyrell bought four liters of fruit punch for a party. He will serve the punch in glasses that can hold 200 milliliters. How many full glasses of fruit punch can he serve? King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Here's liters, so I have four liters right here, and each glass can serve 200 milliliters. All right, how many full glasses? All right, so first of all, let's figure out how many liters or how many milliliters of juice we have. One, two, three times 10 each jump. Uh, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, so four times 1,000, this right here equals 1,000, so four times 1,000 equals 4,000 milliliters of punch. So we have 4,000 milliliters of punch, and we need 200 milliliters each glass. Um, that is a division problem, so 4,000 divided by 200. 200 cannot go into 4, 200 cannot go into 40, 200 can go into 400 twice. 2 times 200 is 400. 400 minus 400 is 0. Um, I can bring down a 0. Can 200 go into 0? No, it can't, so 0. 0 times 200 is 0. 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. So our answer is 20 glasses. Okay, so in this one you had to convert and then divide. It was a multi-step problem. All right, number six. Number six. Select each equation that the number 10 to the third power will make true. Well, what is 10 to the third power? 10 to the third power is 10 times 10 times 10. Well, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. All right, so we know 10 to the third power is 1,000. So now what this is saying is, <sighs> one millimeter Huh, what is this saying? Select each equation that the number 10 to the third power will make true. Okay, so this is saying from millimeters to kilometers, 10 to the third power will make that true. Well, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Millimeters is over here. In order to jump to kilometers, that's the times tens, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's way more zeros than this. 10 to the third power does not work that way. That would be six jumps. That would be 10 to the sixth power. That's the how many jumps is that little three. All right, so we have a meter, one meter to millimeters. One, two, three. Well, that's the multiplying by 10. That's multiplying by 10 three times. This one is correct. Multiplying by 10 three times, that would work. Me meter to centimeter. Meter to centimeter is a two jump, so that would only be times 10 to the second power. This one would have been times 10 to the sixth power. Okay, so that can't be it. Then we have kilometer to meter. One, two, three. Kilometer to meter. I took that three jumps, so that would be times 10 to the third power. That one works. All right, and then I have a meter to a decimeter. Okay. A meter to a decimeter is one jump. That would be just times 10, so that can't be it. That can't be it. So this was a no, this was a no, this was a no. All right, so those two are your answers. And you didn't have to do any math, you just had to understand that 10 to the third power means three jumps. Third power, three jumps. That's what you needed to know. This caused six jumps, this caused two jumps, this caused one jump. So that's 10, that's just 10, or 10 to the first power. Same thing, same thing, it's just 10. All right, match each measurement on the left to its equivalent or equal measurement. One gallon, two cups. All right, now we're at gallon man, gallon king. So I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, one gallon equals two cups. Nope, there's a lot more cups inside of that gallon. 
One gallon, two pints. Nope, one gallon is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints. One gallon, eight ounces. Well, eight ounces is only one of these cups crying. One gallon, four quarts. One, two, three, four quarts inside of it. There you go. Just look at Gallon King. One cup equals two cups? No. One cup equals two pints? No. One cup equals eight of those kitty tears? Eight fluid ounces. Remember, we had eight tears falling from each cat. They are crying cats for some reason. One quart is two cups. Is there two cups inside of the queue? No, there's four cups in the queue. One quart is two pints. Are there two peas in the queue? Yes, there are. One quart is two pints. Wow, it looks like we're going to have a straight diagonal here. One pint, two cups. Well, one pint has two cups inside of it. There we go. That's as far as we had to go with that one. Those are your answers. That was kind of neat. We got a diagonal. All right, number eight. Select all lengths that are equal to 6 feet 12 inches. Oh, boy. All right. This is fun. Okay, so we have 6 feet 12 inches equals how many yards? All right. So 6 feet 12 inches equals how many yards? All right. So feet are smaller, yards are larger. In this case, we would divide. We're gonna take it one piece at a time. All right, so six feet divided by, how many feet in a yard? Six feet divided by three gives me two yards, but then I have these 12 inches, which is one more foot. 12 inches, one more foot. There are three feet in a yard. So now I have inches are smaller to larger. So I have 12 divided by 36. How many 12s are in 36? Well, that would be one third of it. So I'd say two yards, two and a third yards. Okay, I do not see, but 12 inches is a foot, so that would be two yards, one foot. Since they're looking for yards and feet, they're not looking for it all in feet. So two yards, one foot. Do I have two yards, one foot? I do right here. I have two yards, one foot. All right, so I found one of them. So six feet, 12 inches equals seven feet. Well. Six feet, how much is 12 inches? 12 inches equals one foot. So that would be six foot plus one foot. So seven feet works. Seven feet works here. So I have six feet. If you happen to know anything, this is one foot. Six feet plus one foot equals seven feet. All right. Seven feet, two inches. No, because we know this, may, this is exactly seven feet. So it cannot be seven feet and two inches one yard and four feet. One yard and four feet. All right. So to get one yard out of six feet, we'd have to take three feet away from it because three feet are in a yard. So this six feet would turn into one yard, three feet, 12 inches. Okay, so this here just turned into one yard, three feet, 12 inches. Because three feet is a yard, so I took three of these feet away and made it a yard. That left three feet, and then we still had the 12 inches. So I have one yard. Three feet plus 12 inches. 12 inches, uh, we're gonna convert these feet into feet, so three feet equals how many inches? So that's three times 12, 12, 24, 36, that's 36 inches. No, I don't wanna do that. I wanna take this one, I want it to be in feet, right? Cause I already got my one yard here. I got my one yard. 
so I want to turn, I got feet, so I want to turn these inches, so 12 inches equals how many feet? 12 inches equals one foot. So I have one foot plus three feet. So I still have one yard. And then if I add these together, I get four feet. Here's one yard, four feet. So you have a lot of converting to do inside of this number eight. You can bet there's going to be one just like this on your test. So if you need to ask your teacher before you take the test tomorrow, uh, today, uh, wait until open hours and come ask about this problem. There's a lot of converting happening in there, but if you understand how to convert these things, it's not all that difficult. Okay, write and solve an equation to find how many milliliters are in 3.4 liters. Okay, so in this one we have to solve an equation. So, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. I have 3.4 liters right here, and I need to go to milliliters. One, two, three jumps, and I know that each jump is times 10. Each jump is times 10. So I have 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. So 3.4 times 1,000 equals 3,400 milliliters. So this is your equation and this is your solve, okay? All right, number 10. Mason made five quarts of salsa. Here we go, we got Gallon King right here. Mason made five quarts of salsa. Which of the following can be used to find the number of cups of salsa Mason made? All right, well, how many cups are in a quart? I have one, two, three, four cups in one quart. So how many cups do I have in five quarts? That's one more quart. So you can draw another quart right here. Pint, pint, cup, 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 cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 cups equals five quarts. All right. How would I figure this out? Five cups times two times two. What's five times two? Five times two is 10. 10 times two equals 20. All right. So this is the one because I figured out I needed 20 cups. So now you have to do the math here to get to 20. Five times four is 20. 20 times four is way too much. Five divided by two divided by two. Well, we already know we're trying to get from five to 20, so dividing isn't gonna help us because dividing is going to make it smaller. So we can't divide both. But let's check this out. We have five times four is 20 divided by two. Is that gonna get us 20? No, 20 divided by two is gonna get us 10. So this is the answer. All right, so basically you had to convert, find out how many cups were in five quarts, and then figure out which math problem got you to the number of cups to 20. Okay, simple, simple. Alicia bought five pounds of potting soil. She wants to put 10 ounces of soil in each flower pot. How can she convert five pounds to ounces? So this would be 5LB equals blank OZ. So you would go from larger to smaller. So you're going to multiply five by what? Well, how many ounces are in a pound? I have one LB equals 16 ounces, okay? This is the ounces, not fluid ounces. All right, and again, you'll have some kind of conversion chart to work with. I'm not going to uh, make you memorize these. All right, so 16 ounces. So multiply five by 16 or five times 16. How many flower pots can she fill? All right, so five pounds of potting soil, 10 ounces of soil in each pot. So we have to figure out what five times 16 is. So 16 times five, five times six is 30, five times one is five plus three, so that's 80. So I have 80 ounces and I want 10 ounces in each pot. So that's 80 
ounces divided by 10 in each pot means eight pots. I can fill eight pots. Okay. So your answer for this one is the multiply five by 16. And your answer for this one is eight pots. All right, we're almost done here. Two more problems. The tail of a Boeing 747 is 63 and two thirds feet tall. How many inches tall is that? So we have 63 and two thirds feet equals how many inches? All right. So we're going from larger to smaller because feet are larger than inches. And larger to smaller means we multiply. So I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them by two separate pieces. So first problem I have is 63 times, and then the second problem I have is two thirds times. Now, how many inches are in feet? It's times 12. Okay, now I have no idea what 63 times 12 is, so I'm going to go to the side of the paper or get a sticky note. Now I have 63 times 12. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 0 comes down here. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 6 is 6. I add these. 6 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. 1 plus 6 is 7. So I have 756 inches here. So 756 inches here. Now I have to do 2 thirds times 12 and I know to turn a whole number into a fraction I put it over 1. So here I have 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3. Every fraction is a division problem. This is 24 divided by 3. 24 divided by 3. I just want to show you what I mean. 24 divided by 3, that's what this looks like. How many 3's goes into 24? Well, 8 of them. So this is 8 inches. So now I have to add all of these inches to find out my total number of inches. So 6 plus 8 is 14. Carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. 7 plus nothing is 7. So you have 764 inches as your answer. This is the answer. Last problem. All right, guys, remember, ask your teacher at open hours before you take a test if you have any questions on how this was done. Write and solve an equation to convert 38 hundredths of a meter to centimeters. Well, to help me figure out my equation, I like King Henry. He died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. And this is in the meters, so this goes in the unit. So I have point three eight. And I need to go over to centimeters, which means I need 2 times tens. So 2 times tens is 100. So this is 0 0.38 times 100. And solve means I would actually move this decimal 2 times that way. So that's 38 centimeters. If you don't understand how to move decimals, you would do this. 100 times 0.38. Oh, this is, we don't, yeah, you're going to have to understand how to move the decimals because you don't know decimal multiplication yet. So we took this point and we moved it twice to make the number bigger. So we moved it twice to make the number bigger. It became 38 centimeters. Okay, guys, make sure you come and ask questions before you take this test. Um, if you have any questions, good luck.